GoPro Labs. How does it work? Is it safe to use? And how do you install it? Let's find out all of that in this short video. What is GoPro Labs? GoPro Labs is an experimental firmware developed by a team working for GoPro. The firmware allows users to use settings that are not in the main camera. Settings that are quite important if you want to get the most out of your GoPro camera. Is it safe to use? Yes, it's 100% safe. It's quality assured by the team working for GoPro to make sure it doesn't cause any harm to your camera. Does it work on all GoPro cameras? No, unfortunately not. Some settings are limited to the newer models because of the hardware inside of the camera. That information can be found below. How do you install GoPro Labs? Download the firmware for your camera model and unzip the file to your computer. Copy the update folder onto the SD card. Then put the SD card into your GoPro camera and turn on the camera. Now you have installed GoPro Labs. If you ever want to uninstall GoPro Labs, just install the regular GoPro firmware. Now you have GoPro Labs firmware downloaded to your camera, but you're also going to need to download a QR code generator app called QR Control. This app generates QR codes that enables the settings that you want to use. How do you use GoPro Labs? To adjust settings in GoPro Labs, you have to scan that setting using the QR code generator. In the QR Control app, go to the top of the tabs and scroll until you see Extras. In the Extras tab, you have all the GoPro Labs features in the drop-down list, and they all explain what they do. To use any of the settings, just read what the quote says and what input data you have to use for that setting. Let's try, for example, BITR. BITR stands for bitrate, and the app tells us exactly what number we need to plot in to the QR control app. This is where you might have to do some research on GitHub or other website to find out which setting is the best. For example, when it comes to bitrate, anything beyond 220 megabits per second is going to give you diminishing returns. So in that case, I'm going to set the input data to 220 megabits per second. Then I'm going to click the permanent button. The permanent button just makes sure that the setting is still available when we turn the camera back on. This does not mean that the setting is unable to get removed, it just means that the setting doesn't disappear whenever you turn off and on the camera. After I've put the input data in and toggled the permanent button, I then scan the QR code with my GoPro camera. Now the setting is enabled in the camera. If you ever want to reset GoPro Labs without uninstalling it, just go down to the reset button and scan it. Then all your GoPro Lab settings are removed and you can start from scratch. What are some of the best settings I should use? Well, it's all dependent on what exactly type of shooting you're doing. But for general use, there's a few settings that I would recommend you use. The first one is the bitrate setting. Set it to as high as you want it to be, up to 220 megabits per second. Higher number means faster filling up of the SD card, so you don't necessarily have to use the highest number. I usually run with around 180 megabits per second, and that works great. Then I would advise you to turn off noise reduction, because the noise reduction in the GoPro cameras can be quite harsh. Exposure damping is also a setting I use quite a lot. And I also quite often use maximum shutter speed. This makes sure that my shutter speed never dips below a certain amount, and my stabilization works a lot better. If you're more experienced with video production, you can try to use GoPro Log B and GoPro Wide. Log B enables a log curve and Wide enables a wider gamut. There are quite a bit of other options that you can use as well. Some for setting white balance when it comes to diving, which can be quite useful. Some time-lapse settings if you need that or some settings to turn on the camera automatically when it detects motion. All of these can be quite useful depending on what kind of production you're shooting. The feature I want doesn't exist. Can I have it? Well, you can ask for the feature to be developed if you go to the GitHub pages and ask. Make sure you've read through each of the settings and checked that it doesn't exist. Because the last thing we want to do is waste the people at GoPro Labs time. If the setting doesn't exist, 
and they haven't talked about it in earlier threads, then you can ask for the feature to be developed. But keep in mind that most settings are either thought about or under construction. Due to the amount of requests, there is a lot of work for the developers to do. So just smear yourself with a bit of patience and you might be able to get the feature you're asking for. I hope this helps. Make sure you like the video if this answered a few of your questions. And uh, comment below if there's anything you're wondering about specifically. I can't answer everything, but I'll try my best. And also, do not subscribe unless you're into mountain biking, because this is primarily a mountain biking channel. All right, peace out.